everyone, my name is Shalera and I work for the Graduate Student Society at the University of Windsor. Today I'm here with... Hey, uh, my name is Sedak and I work for DSS. Today we are going to attend a conference. We are so excited, right? Yeah, we're so excited. It's excited. We're at the Toronto International Airport currently waiting for a flight. Which conference are we going to? Uh, we are going for a Canadian Society of Civil Engineers, CSC 2023 in the city of... Lockdown! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> we both publish papers and we're both presenting our papers. We can't wait to show you guys how it is to present papers at a conference. Yeah, let us know if you have published any papers so far. Thank you. Welcome to our vlog. Here we are being super excited to attend our flight. We were four students who went together. All four of us were doing presentations. Here is one of our friends being super excited to see the view. The view was beautiful. And here is our view. So just for context, we took two flights, one from Windsor to Toronto and then Toronto to Moncton. We are arriving to Moncton and we were really excited to see our accommodation. It was very beautiful, very new, and we couldn't believe our eyes. We were just, here is Dr. Fatma coming down, being so happy and cheery. So the first day we had some extra time, we decided to go to University of Moncton and we decided to just check the campus out and we took some very amazing pictures especially at this red tree with the red windows and we just took more videos pictures and had fun welcome to day one of three days of the conference we started off with the registration grabbed our badges and just walked around to communicate with different people First, they started off with a plenary se session about indigenous people. Then we met with different vendors from different companies to share their information about their different companies. And then we presented our presentation. Here is Dr. Fatma. Here is Siddharth presenting. And while we were presenting, while uh, all of us were presenting, we attended their presentations. Then there was a lunch break. Um, there were multiple presentations before every lunch break and before every um, session. Then it was my turn to present and during each presentation there were, there were about like six to eight presentations where we sat down and listened to all the people who were presenting their papers. After presentations we had some food, some drinks, and we mingled with different people from different universities and different companies. After the first day of the conference, we had some time off. We decided to go around the downtown of Moncton and just discover the, the city. We discovered that there's very famous for churches and the churches were beautiful. We decided to take some amazing pictures. Here is Siddharth's picture. Then we went more downtown, discovered the city more, and we concluded the day with visiting the Chocolate River. Moncton was famous for this river. Day two of conference. We are walking to the cab. Hello. This is one of the presenters here. How was your presentation yesterday? It was really good. It was really good. <laughs> we did amazing yesterday. Well, she did amazing. I did okay. But we did amazing oh. yesterday. <laughs> walking into day two of the conference, basically the schedule was always the same. We just started off with a plenary session and then some food. I forgot to take the video for the first day. This is the food we had the second day and then we would attend multiple presentations. Here is our friend Irfan presenting his presentation. Basically papers that people have presented. Irfan presented two papers the same day. And here is me attending one of the structural sessions. It was, I was more interested in the structural session. And then Siddharth had another presentation the second day. So we kept on attending different students' presentations and we learned about the papers that they published. And all of the days had a lunch and after lunch we attended more presentations the second day of the conference we had some time to go around moncton we decided to go to the diamond rock and that's where there is a rock in the shape of a diamond where you can see there and then when you walk more you can see the hopes well rocks i hope i present pronounced that correctly and the view was just to die for everything in moncton had a bunch of greenery waterfalls it was just beautiful and we enjoyed our time and we concluded the day with going to wolf's point this is me trying attempting to take a 
next video of the Wolf's Point. So basically all the days of the conferences were presentations, breakfasts, lunches, and when we had time, we would go to different places. Day two, we woke up early morning to go to Magnetic Hill. This was really cool. You'd put your car on normal and then it would reverse to go uphill while it's downhill. We then had beaver tails and we joined the presentations again. This is day three. Day three with lunch again. It was the same set, same schedule and this time I was excited to attend the steel presentation and then a meeting, a structural meeting. Here we are going to the final gala. You guessed it, day three concluded with a final gala which we mingled and communicated with different people we've met, had some amazing drinks in the beginning which was the cocktail hour and then I would like you to hear how it started. The gala started with some pipes and then a presentation from the uh, the conference organizers which they gave out the award winners their awards we got to hear about all the awards eat some amazing food at the end and some amazing desserts here we are having a bunch of fun taking pictures it was just a really good experience to see and, and to see the conference conclusion Next day, we woke up early morning to see some historic sites in PEI. Here we are traveling on the Confederation Bridge, world's, Canada's longest bridge, and the world's longest bridge on ice water. Here am I using my Snapchat filters, and here is Anne Gable's house. I think I said her name correctly. PEI was famous for its lighthouses, and its beaches, and its red beaches, the red stones and the red rocks. We had some fun, a lot of fun, going to these beaches, taking pictures, seeing the sunset. We had, Some of us have not seen the beaches before, which is really surprising because we were living in Canada, but we got to see the, the red beaches for the first time, took some amazing pictures, and the weather was very different. The weather felt like it was cleaner. Then we went to the downtown of Charlottetown and the, the the houses were colorful and we just had fun and we next day we woke up and we came back home it was a little bit of a end because we did not want to come back home but here we are traveling back seeing the Toronto view one last time to conclude the conference it consisted of presentations communications brainstorming ideas and research and of course having fun we took a picture every morning before going out and we hope you had as much as fun as we did